really don't know why the lens cap doesn't open up on this camera all the way every time I try and open it. Oh well! Hey guys, how the frig's it going today? Well, we got somebody coming over to buy the lamps. So excited. I was totally gonna go fishing tonight, but if I can get rid of those lamps, I'm staying the frig home. Instead, we're gonna work on another project that I thought about while thinking about stuff and junk. Basically, got to thinking about shoving things right up there. Yep. Like this ladder, it's gradually gonna go right beside this ladder, right up there. Okay, maybe not right up there because there's that stupid wire in the way, but maybe I can chuck it sideways and guide it up and over. We'll figure that out when the time comes to it. But a lot of the stuff down here is gonna go up there. Like these wooden ramps. I don't need them. So I'm just gonna out of sight, out of mind them. That tote, that blue thing underneath. The pressure washer. I'm just going to fire everything up there that I can to get it out of the way so I have more room down here to put stuff. My camping stuff. I'm not going to need it this year. Fire it up there. That canvas tent. Same, same. Alrighty, well, the uh, lamps are gone. It's kind of funny. I went to bed last night at like 10:30, 11, and woke up this morning to three people asking if the lamps are still available. I have no idea who just bought them. I'm pretty sure the person who Messaged me and said they'd be here at 5.30. Was named like Mike or something. That was a lady. Mike can be a lady's name too, right? It's 2020. We'll let it go. Anyway. Got my ladder set up. This time I put a brick down below because it did slip a little bit. And. Reason why I got my ladder set up. Just going to watch my head when coming up here because of this stupid beam. Yes, I wanted to see. Uh, that was all my GI Joes. As you can see the the tail end of an airplane. I wanted to see just how much room I had up here to fire things. What is in here? Oh, that's insulation. This bag here. Okay, and back there there's some more crap too. Alright, um, I'm actually impressed that this roof doesn't leak. Look, you can't even see any water in here. I don't even know if you guys can see anything in here to be honest, but... Hmm. Okay. Did I ever look in that container? I don't want to reach over there. I wonder if I can knock that around somehow. Okay, I'm going to grab some stuff and bring it up. Okay, I don't want to put too much weight up here, but I fired these up here. Also back there, there's Felix's old cat carrier. I couldn't find it for the life of me. Never even thought of looking up here. Further back there, you can see an ATV tire. Don't know why I have that, but I do. Uh, some job mate big-ass toolbox over there, I think. Don't know how the hell I'm going to get to that. Or if I want to, for that matter. Some buckets. You know, this probably would support my weight. I just don't want to risk it for a biscuit because, you know, I need to work for a living. But uh, I know from the other side I can get to that red container, I think. Worst case, I can probably use something and hook it and pull it towards me like, like something. I don't know what. Also got somebody interested in this thing, so that's probably going to be going soon too. And when that goes, that's it. All my Kijiji items are gone. Thank the stars. Facebook Marketplace, guys, it's kind of bunk. Not going to lie. You put stuff up on Facebook Marketplace, people don't buy it. You put stuff up on, on Kijiji, you get interested parties, like, right away. Kijiji is way better than Facebook Marketplace. Why the hell can't I get this piece of plywood to get in there? There we are. You know what? We're gonna move this lawnmower out of the way. And we're gonna grab the ladder. I also put an LED bulb up there just so I could see because there was no light when you go up there. And it gets very, very dark. I'm gonna grab the ladder and bring it over here. Oh yeah, I can see everything from over here. Okay, perfect. So, theoretically... Oh, this is empty. 
No. I don't need the cat box. So I'll fucking fire that over there. These are these old computers I had. My old Toshiba. I don't know what the hell this one here is. That's an old Dell. Don't know what I'm gonna do with them. They're kind of potato. This is like a brand new ATC tire. I mean like brand new, like look at this thing. Amazing treads, where the hell did I even get this from? Found more of my ex's crap. She has, uh, she used to like to buy games. We never played them though. Liked mines. What the hell's this? Quip it. Something, I don't know. What's this? Mind trap. Okay. Pictionary and a Scrabble game. Fun. Found this box up here, and I'm pretty sure that's exactly what's in it. Freaking scores! That's pretty sweet. Like, it's got a tape player on it, which is kind of useless, because I don't even know anybody who owns cassettes anymore. Okay, so it's not the one that's in it. It's actually another style. Um, it's the RCA. This is the LG on the box here the mini cinema and this is the RCA really crappy accessory version and there's a tape in it holy shit there's actually a tape in it oh my goodness guys big shiny tunes too prodigy breathe blur song two third eyed blind semi charm life smash mouth walking on the sun sugar ray fly I remember when these songs were all brand spanking new. Beautiful people. Marilyn Manson for crying out loud. Oh, switch it over to side B. Hey, frig. Matchbox 20 push. These, these are all actually really, this is actually a really good tape. Like a really good tape. A lot of good songs from back in the day right here. This is a classic. My goodness. Should plug this potato in and see if it works. Don't like use my belt sander as a tail, but we got it all hooked up and I do see a flashing light. So, whoa, 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 what's going on? Well, we got music, not very loud. All right, we got it on cassette. Let's see if it plays. Does the motor actually work? Oh man, cassette is seized. Okay, so the cassette motor shot. Uh, source. Let's see if we got any CDs in here. Oh, what do we got? We have. There's something in here. How do you get to. What's this? Story of the year. Okay. Uh, what the hell's it doing here? Doug, uh, where did the... That's the stupidest setup I've ever seen in my history of seeing things. How do you play it? Do something! What's this? Hey, it's stuff! Alright. Uh, that button. Uh. Okay. All right, so it works. I don't know what the heck I'm going to do with it. Kind of wish the cassette player would work. That's really upsetting because that would have been great. Yeah, it's it's super seized. So you just put it on stop and you can totally freewheel it. But then when soon as you put it on play, it just seizes right up. Hmm. That was a banging tape back in the day, let me tell you. Well that goes in. Oh neat. I wish it had uh, 
a fauno source or something. Because if it had a fauno source, I could plug in my Bluetooth receiver to it and just use it as a Bluetooth speaker. I should text dad and see if he wants a radio for his shed. Because I think the one he used broke. And he's just been using his cell phone while out there watching, listening to Spotify. I'm gonna throw him a text. Oh yeah, if anybody's wondering what I did with that ATV uh, tire, gonna see if the side of the road ferry can deal with that for me. Anyway, I just sent Dad a text to see if he wanted that radio. I have no use for it. Maybe he does. Thanks, but no, it looks big. It's not big. It's actually kind of small. Tells me to sell it. Who the hell's gonna buy that? I'll put it up for 10 bucks. Okay, I'm gonna get back up there because I want to move some stuff up there like my airsoft rifles. Uh... Basically, I want to make room because I want to move this saw down there. I'm wondering how thick of wood this saw could actually cut. It would probably chew through something simple like that. No problem. And I know I got a bunch of blades with it too. I don't know if they're down here. Maybe they're in here. Probably shocked I'm not going fishing tonight. Well, I didn't realize person was going to show up so quick for the friggin' lamps. It's pretty sweet. But, uh, I've been doing some cleaning up and moving around and stuff down here. And... I forgot that I own a wood chipper. <laughs> so my idea of putting that in this corner won't be a thing. So I move my camping stuff over there. I'm gonna move this ladder back over there, go up and put my camping stuff on that side, I think. Cause I don't know if I can, maybe I should put it up on this side. <sighs> I could put it right here. You know what, I'm gonna do that. Good enough, good stuff. Doesn't leave me much, with much room down here, but a little bit of organization. I could probably put those truck ramps up there, or car ramps up there too. Get them out of here. Yeah, because I still got to take the bike down here, this lawnmower down here, and that saw down here. And then everything else I can just move around. And well, this is going to go behind the Trans Am once it's in here. Guess I can put the saw over here. I can drill the lawnmower where it is over there. I gotta get rid of this wood. Alright, there we go. Got this corner all cleared out. So that's pretty sweet. Put the saw over here. Don't know what to do with this concrete. We'll figure something out with that. And as far as this corner goes, well, we'll just stack as much shit as possible on each other. Make as much room as possible. And, uh, yeah, we'll get stuff down here. So I guess saw goes over here. And we're good to go. Gotta move that ladder. Alright, got the saw down there now. And move the dolly down here as well. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep the, cat, yeah, the cat's clean cook table here. Uh, this stuff here I need to go through. Probably gonna have to put that and that up there again. Uh, this garbage can here, well, it's pretty much full. I just gotta put it at the end of the road in two days. Same with this one. That one's empty. Because the barbecue is gonna be going back over here, which means this ladder, I'm probably gonna put it down there for the time being. And this one here can get fired up here. Like a so. And I'll take this one here and put it down there, like it so. Okay. So like I say, all we need to do is throw the mower down there, but we've probably got one or two more mows left in the year. Before we call it, probably going to hit the lawn this weekend. You know? I got stupid out here with me now. Because he wanted to come outside, so I figured, all right, he can come and hang out. He's got to stay on leash though, because he's stupid. But, uh, after hitting this area with Bender, looks like it's trying to stay dead now, so that's good. Very good. As far as my worm hunting goes, I was told to lift up one of these patio stones, and chances are I'd find a thousand of them. So, we may have to give that a try one of these weekends. Instead of going to the store, maybe lift a couple patio stones and see if we can find some worms. Maybe they'll be more lively if they weren't bred in captivity. Oh, my tree's losing all of its leaves. I should uh, dig that out and transplant it in the back of the yard or something. 
actually get a tree growing back there. Like, like maybe put a tree around here-ish, like right here-ish maybe. Let it grow and become a big tree like that big son of a bitch. Or don't and be happy. Okay, well, I think I'm pretty much done in the garage. Like I said, the only reason why I started doing this project, I was going to do this project last night, but I ended up finding a video game on Steam that kind of consumed my life. Um, you guys know I'm loving fishing. I love every minute of it. It's so much fun. And the game I found is called Rushing, Russian Fishing 4. Which means there must be a 3, 2, and a 1 somewhere. Probably in, in Russia. It's probably the first one that became a Steam game. I, I couldn't find any other versions of the game out there. It's free to play. 100% free. You log into a server, which can take some time, and it's still in development, so it's not exactly 100% awesome. And you do exactly what you think you do. You fish. You start off with a telescopic rod, not like the Zebco, but like it's literally just a, a cane, if you if you want like a cane fishing. You ever seen cane fishing? It's where it's just a stick with a rope with a line on it. There's no casting or there's no reel. It's just cane pole, your line going into the water. You pull the fish out. You pull the fish out. You start off learning how to do that with float fishing and then you can move on to go feeder fishing, which is like where you cast out and you sink your bait down to the bottom and you catch like the, the bottom dwellers, catfish and and carp and you know those tournaments you can join where you catch like your three top carp we'll say and they weigh them in all together and then that's there's all sorts of different things and it's kind of like an MMORPG because there are survival aspects to it, like you gotta eat food, you gotta watch your hunger, you gotta watch your energy levels, energy can be modified through hunger. You start running low on energy, you chug a coffee, energy goes up but your hunger doesn't. You can make your own bait, which is kinda neat, I only ever made bread balls, because I'm literally just starting off in the game, so I'm learning. Um, so yeah, there's different types of fishing, there's the float fishing, there's spinner fishing, and then there's um, or float fishing, real fishing, and uh, deep fishing, or uh, feeder fishing, they call it, where you're basically going after the bottom feeders by sinking a... Anyway, it's pretty fun. I had a blast last night learning all new stuff on it. Near the end, when I was finally like, you know what, I need to get to bed, it's getting late, and I shut the game down, I... Uh, discovered you can have three poles out at one time which beats our Ontario rules where you can only have one out so I had like my two my my two float lines out just snagging fish while my third my uh, spinning rail uh, line I was whip whipping that out and I caught a northern pike or a pike I guess just a pike not a northern pike because it's just called a pike and that took me about a good 15 minutes in game of fighting with it or 15 minutes of my life I should say of fighting with it trying to reel it up I caught him twice. I caught him three times. The first two times I caught him, I didn't have a leader on, and he snapped my line and took off of my lure. And the third time I caught him, I put a, I got smart. I read when he I lost it and said his teeth bit through it, and I was like, that's fighting like a pike. That's got to be a pike. So I went and put a leader on it, and I was able to actually catch him this time around, which is great because all I was using was like freaking six pound test and a shitty freaking budget reel and rod and. That's probably why it took me so long, because every time he'd put a fight on and I'd put a fight back, I could see like the line stress going through the roof. I don't know, it's a real fun game, guys. Russian Fishing 4 on Steam. Free to play. If you're into fishing, you might enjoy that game. If you have any ideas of other fishing games that I might enjoy, let me know in the comments below. But guys, I think that's all for today. I just wanted to come out here, get the garage all straightened out. You know, it's still totally time for me to rip down to the docks and go fishing, but... I think I'm just going to take it easy tonight. Get the bed at a decent hour. Tomorrow's another work day. I'm calling for Thunderbangers tomorrow night, though, so that sucks. So, yeah. Is what it is. Let's go ahead and shut the lights down in here. And let's pack it up, pack it in. And get in the house. That, and it feels like there's something coming. 
like a storm or something. I don't know, that wind is something else. That's the other reason why I don't want to go fishing is because fishing in the wind kind of sucks. You cast straight and your lure's up on the shore, so that's no fun. Anyway, people, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, click that like button. Any questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. Also, <clears throat> remember back in the day I mentioned I did an attic video? Well, that was pretty much what I was doing. I was pulling shit down from the attic, going through the boxes, finding a bunch of crap, and going, wow, look at all this crap. Yeah. So, you didn't really miss much, but you missed some. It is what it is. Until next time, guys. Remember, live to win, never give in. Sit, stupid, sit. Good dog.